I know my form is probably horrible. Don't judge me, I'm new. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven. Welcome to a raw, real, not sponsored, not even planned out, just randomly picking up the camera, mom vlog. A good old fashioned mom vlog. Decided to just pick up the camera today and vlog my day. Kind of getting a little bit of a late start with the vlog because I have actually, it's already like 11.30. I started my morning off by doing a virtual workout with my friend Taylor, Taylor K. Some of you may know her, owner of Your Lash Bar. She also, she, she does a lot of things, y'all. Taylor, if you don't know, you need to know her. I'll put her info here. Y'all should follow her, check her out. Yeah, she has inspired me. <laughs> Oh, it's been a long time coming. She has inspired me to finally start my fitness journey for real, for real this time. I know I've been talking about this for years, literally since Zaya was born, because that's when I first started feeling some type of way about my body and my figure and my strength and just my weight and stuff. I lost a whole bunch of weight, in case you don't know, in case you're new here, I lost a whole bunch of weight after I gave birth. I thought I was gonna gain weight and gain some curves and gain some hips. I was excited about that, but no, the complete opposite. I've always naturally been thin. And then after I had Zaya, I got even thinner, basically just due to breastfeeding and stress and stuff like that. So here's a picture of me right at around that time. You guys always ask me, what's your exercise routine? What's What kind of workouts do you do? Girl, none, zero, zilch. I'm very weak. I'm very out of shape and I just felt like it was really time once and for all to change that going into 2021. So anyway, long story short, Taylor recently moved to my city. So now she's here in person. She's into fitness. She's really good with all that stuff. So she's like, girl, I will help you. You don't have to be embarrassed. I will take it slow with you. I will walk you through it. So I went over to her house. She's got a little home gym set up in her garage. Did my first ever workout with her. Realized that it really wasn't that bad. It really wasn't as scary as I was making making it out to be in my mind. And so since then, she's been helping me with my little workouts. So, said all that to say that this morning we did a virtual workout session via FaceTime. So I just had her on my laptop and she was showing me the exercises and just walking through it with me. And we did like a little 35 minute workout, you know, getting them squats and then lunges in. So that was good. I feel really good about myself. I'm skipping tomorrow, but gonna do the same thing on Thursday, so. You know, fitness bay. Let me start my fitness, my workout Instagram account. Let me start my my fitness clothing line. <laughs> There's that. So that's my little fitness update. Stay tuned to see what kind of results I start getting. Zaya would like to say hi to y'all. Don't mind both of our appearance right now. We are in full just lazy mode. This week is actually Thanksgiving break. So she would normally be at school right now, but she's not today. It's coming up on hair washing time. I don't know what she got on. We just chilling. I got my kind of halfway workout outfit from this morning. I need to take a shower because I went straight from the workout to hopping on my computer, answering emails, answering phone calls, just, you know, dealing with sponsorships and stuff like that. Also my process with my house. Trying to get my house fully furnished has been the most frustrating thing in the world. I know, first world problems, I know. I shouldn't be complaining because I should just be happy that I just have this house, period, and I am. But it's just, it's just my personality. My personality does not go well with these types of situations where it's like, I'm trying to just finish a project. I know what I want it to look like. I know what I want, but things just keep getting in the way and holding me back from finishing this project. And as a Virgo, it just hurts my soul to be held back from finishing a project, no matter what it is. So I think that's kind of been the biggest struggle. This morning I was looking into the current issue, which is I'm trying to do my office. My office is supposed to be one of the main glamorous statement rooms in my house. Right now it is completely just drab and pretty much empty. And I did hire an interior designer to help me. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. It has not really been a smooth process working with the interior designer. That's all I'm gonna say for now. And we gonna stay tuned 
and we're gonna hope that things get better from here on out. So that's what I was um, kind of dealing with this morning. But now it is time to take a shower and get ready and I'm gonna be bringing y'all along for the rest of my day. I am about to get glam because I have to, not have to, but want to, need to, should, take some photos with Zaya for my blog. If you guys haven't heard, I have a new website. Well, it's really, I had a website. The website was kind of trash. So we did a complete revamp on my website, ravenelisetv.com. That is where you can see all things Raven, I guess. I have a blog on there. I have a shop my favorites section on there where like if you're asking where my outfit is from, if you're asking where furniture or kitchen gadgets that I use, anything like that, you can go on there and see all of my favorite items and shop it super easily and a few other things that we're working on for the website just to kind of have some different type of content. But the main thing right now that we're trying to get built up is the blog because that's just another opportunity for me to post more content for you guys, kind of slightly different content than what you would see on Instagram or YouTube or anything like that. And right now we are working on a mommy and me fashion blog post. So yeah, that's kind of the plan for today. Let me demonstrate what my workouts are currently looking like. Let me just show y'all that you don't have to know what you're doing. You don't have to have any equipment. If you're a beginner like me, maybe this can be encouraging because I'm about to show y'all <laughs> what I was looking like this morning. So literally this is my outfit. This is my workout attire. You don't need any crazy, um, you know, special attire. I've got these Fabletics leggings on, which I guess are pretty, you know, good. I've got just regular t-shirt, whatever. Literally did my workout barefoot. Don't know if that's recommended. And then I don't have any weights. So I used <laughs> a 10 pound bag of sugar as my weight this morning because Taylor was like, you need like a five or 10 pound weight. We're not doing crazy weights yet because I need to work on my form first before I start lifting real weights so that I don't hurt myself. But she was like, do you have a five or 10 pound weight? I was like, no, but I do have this. So I used this and then I literally just had Taylor on my laptop so I could see what she was doing so she could show me. And I had my mirror here. So that was helpful to kind of like check my form. And this was me this morning, learning how to do whatever this is called this squat I know my form is probably horrible don't judge me I'm new so yeah you don't need a fancy gym equipment outfits use your sugar as a weight instead of eating it also in other current events in the Raven Elise TV household we are in the midst the midst I don't know how to say that word of decorating for Christmas clearly I think by the time you see this vlog you guys will kind of already have seen the other video that I'm doing focusing on my Christmas decor but as of right now we're in the middle of it everything is still Still a mess mixed in with our normal typical mess. But anyway, I need to take a shower, do my hair, do my makeup, and then also do Zaya's hair and everything so we can get ready to take these mommy and me fashion photos from a blog. Okay, we are showered, we are moisturized. I'm about to do my hair and makeup, but before I do that, or kind of while I do that, I wanna make sure that Zaya eats lunch. What do you want for lunch? Pizza, again? Okay. Little does she know that this pizza has hidden vegetables in it because I buy this brand. I've talked about this a few times before, but this brand puts extra vegetables in all of their like kid-friendly little frozen meals. And I've gotten to where I pretty much make everything in the air fryer. Oh, it's got a big old glob of cheese on there. Air fryer can make anything, and it's a lot faster. Well, that cheese is stuck on there. That part's just gonna be extra cheesy. <laughs> Literally just pop it in the air fryer. The actual instructions on here say to, I think bake it in the oven at 400 for like 12 minutes, but in the air fryer, I usually set the temperature down a little bit for stuff like this, cause sometimes it just be blasting it. So I put it at 350 for like seven minutes, not even six minutes. And it doesn't have to preheat or anything. So boom, six minutes, it'll be done. Versus having to let the oven preheat, then you gotta put it in there and then it takes twice as long to cook. So if you don't have an air fryer, 
what are you doing with your life? All right, now for this hair. I gave myself a haircut the other day and I went a little, mm, I went a little overboard, I think. <laughs> I put the wrong guard. I don't know what I was thinking. I put the wrong guard on my clippers and I just went Err. and I looked and I was like, Oh my God, that is way shorter than what I was trying to do. And I did this whole like section right here, like around my ear. And I was like, what do I do now? So then I had to do the same thing on the other ear and try to make it look like it was intentional. And y'all know I ain't no barber. My hair color has also faded quite a bit. If you guys did not see my hair dyeing video, if you wanna watch that video, you'll see when I first dyed my hair, it was almost looking like a shade of purple like more lavender but now it truly is like a more pinkish rose rose gold which is what i was going for so i definitely started liking this color a lot more once it started fading oh this looks so mess <laughs> oh gosh what is going on right here see the bad part when you have like your roots are a different color than your tips then it really shows every part of your haircut. You know what I mean? Cause the color just gives every little mistake away. Mm. Oh my God, ew! Just, <laughs> why do I do these things? I don't know. It's not a big deal. I like to just have fun with my hair. We all know this, but sometimes it just doesn't go as planned and that's okay. Cause it's just hair, right? For now, we're just gonna work with this botched haircut and see what we can do or if, it's un, un, what's it called? Unsalvageable, then we'll just put a wig on. Problem solved. <laughs> Moose. Then I'm gonna take some gel to really get some extra hold around the front. Like these little baby hairs right here. Ew. It's this whole comb over part that's like really bothering me. It's really the color that makes it look worse. Like if my hair was all one solid color, it would be different. I could kind of hide it a little bit more, but whatever. Let's see if we can put some waves in here. Shame to say that it is now 2.15 in the afternoon. How that much time has passed already, I cannot explain. Sometimes when I'm getting ready to shoot content, especially if it's like a photo shoot or I'm filming some sort of video where like I wanna look good. Cause sometimes I do vlogs like this and I don't care. But like if I wanna look good, I do kind of go down this perfectionist unhealthy spiral of like, no, it's not quite right. It's not quite right. It's not quite right. And I can kind of get lost in the sauce and lose track of time messing around with my hair or my makeup for hours. I need to start setting timers or something because it gets out of hand sometimes. This is just what happens when you have perfectionist tendencies. And I'm not proud of it, okay? I'm working on it. So, anywho, Maya is here. She works from 10 to four. I have her until four to help me shoot these photos. We're just doing it with Maya today. Normally, I shoot with like Rel or somebody. You've seen Rel in my previous videos, but this is kind of a last minute thing. So I'm just gonna have Maya take our photos with my Canon camera. I mean, it's, it's pretty good quality. Like the camera and the lens that I have is pretty good. So I feel like it's not gonna be, you know, bad or anything. But um, yeah, I only have Maya until four, it's 2.15 and I have not even started doing my makeup. And honestly, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm not happy with my hair. But it's just gonna have to, it's just, you know what? It's just gonna have to be like that. I honestly should have just quit while I was ahead and put a wig on and called it a day. It's too late for all that now because putting a wig on is gonna take a whole nother hour and I don't have that type of time. Let's just get some makeup on. Let's just, woosah. Makeup is finally done. Hair is whatever, we're not gonna talk about it. Outfit is pre-planned. I have Zaya's matching outfit already laid out. Zaya fell asleep on the couch. She needed a nap anyway. I'm about to wake her up, fix up her hair really quick, get her dressed really quick. Luckily, it does not take nearly as long to get her together as it does to get myself together because I literally took all day just for this. 
it's a problem. So let me go do that real quick. Maya is only on the clock for like 30 more minutes. We only have really one outfit and like we just need to get like a couple of good photos. So it's not gonna be a, a long drawn out thing. Hopefully if Zaya is cooperative, you know, we've always got to work with what her attitude might be at any given moment. And I try not to force her to do stuff if she's not feeling it. So let's hope that she is feeling it. Zaya. Zaya. Time to wake up, boo-boo. You fell asleep. I'm taking a nap. You ready to take your pictures? You sleepy. You should be well rested now and ready to pose. <laughs> can I comb your hair and put your outfit on so we can take these pictures really quick? You still sleepy? Oh my goodness. Right, Zaya is super grumpy. She says she needed more time. I told her I can give her three minutes. We're on a time crunch because of Maya. But you know how sometimes grumpiness from earlier rolls over into the rest of the day? Like if a certain thing doesn't go their way or they get in trouble for doing something that they weren't supposed to do, then they kind of have an attitude <laughs> throughout the whole rest of the day. We're kind of dealing with that because she was being a little mischievous earlier and I had to correct her. She does not like to be corrected, Aries energy, but um, she's in the other room, I told her, Okay, I'll give you three minutes, fair enough. Calm down a little bit. Understandable, little kids don't love taking photos. Unless, I mean, I don't know, sometimes it's iffy. Sometimes Zaya is literally begging me, like, get the camera, get the camera, I wanna make a video, I wanna take photos. Ooh, take a photo of me, take a photo of me. Just depends on what uh, mood she's in. Right now, she's not in the best mood, but we're gonna wait it out. We're just gonna wait it out. But look, matching shirts. We got these matching jackets, little jeans. We're having a grumpy day. Look, mommy has one too. Mm. What's the matter, boo boo? Why are you having such a grumpy day? You've been grumpy since this morning. Are you sad about something? Angry about something? What are you angry about? I want to try to charge you the good chart. Because your name was on the naughty list. But didn't didn't we talk about why your name was on the naughty list? The naughty and the nice list are to remind you to be on your best behavior. Have you been doing that today? Have you been trying today? Why not? Can we take a deep breath? The day is not over yet. You can still move to the nice list. It's okay to be sad and angry, but we just need to figure out how to fix it. Okay. We are here on location. Well, it is now uh, 412. Maya is off work. We drove out to a location. I mean, we drove out like it was super far away, but we drove to a location that I thought might work. But right now it is like, you know, sun is beaming down and I knew that the lighting was gonna be a little bit iffy. Plus, Zaya is still not really in the mood. So she was frowning and crying in the photos and that's just not gonna work. And like I said, I don't force it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to just take a breather. We're back home now. Maya is off work. She's leaving. We're gonna take a breather and then relax for a little bit, okay? And see if we can have a better mood. Are you still sad and angry? What are we gonna do to make it better? To help you be happy instead of sad. Oh. There's my mom. I was about to call you anyway because photo shoot was an epic fail for two main reasons. The lighting, the sun is beaming down way too harsh right now and Zaya is not in the mood. She's tantruming, not tantruming, but crying. I'm trying to A, give her a moment to maybe be in a better mood and B, the lighting, if we can actually catch it at the right time, at golden hour when the sun is setting, the lighting should be a lot better. All right, just got off the phone with my mom because I had to ask her to take our pictures now since Maya is off the clock. I no longer have her around to help me. We're gonna wait till about five when the sun starts setting. We're gonna maybe go to a different, better location. We're gonna hope that Zaya is in a better mood and my mom is gonna take our photo. I don't know how this turned into a literal all day shenanigan, but this is just 
just the reality of like literally sometimes just trying to get a simple photo of one outfit. I still have hope though. All right, y'all, good news. As you can see, or I don't know if you can tell, but the sun has set, the moon is out, it is 5.43. We were able to get the pictures done. Hallelujah. They may not be the best pictures in the world, but hey, we got them done. My mom was able to come and meet us at a different location, right at golden hour. I did not vlog the process because I was honestly in such a rush just to get the pictures. I didn't even have time to think about the vlog camera. So sorry that you didn't get to see our photo shoot in action, but it really wasn't anything. We were just kind of trying to get some basic pictures of our outfit. Zaya did so good. She smiled, she posed, she had a great attitude. See, sometimes you just, you just gotta give it a minute. Time heals all, right Zaya? And guess what? Now we get to move your name to the nice side. Wow, I love walking into my house after the sun has gone down and all of our Christmas lights are on. It just sets the mood. I mean, our house is still in shambles right now, so it's not fully setting the mood, but I just love the warm glow of Christmas lights. Let's turn these on too. I got these ones and then this one actually, oh! Zaya's already on it. I was gonna show y'all what we got going on. I posted this on my Instagram story, but we made naughty and nice lists. You wanna tell them what it is? If I'm being bad, you have to move my name to this list. If I'm being nice, you have to move my name to this list. So it's a reminder to do what? Be naughty or nice. It's not a reminder to be naughty. It's a reminder to just be nice. Nice, right? Because what does Santa do? He gets us presents. But he doesn't give you any presents if what? Being naughty. Right, so we always wanna make sure that. And being nice. I'm gonna get this much presents a lot, but not for this one. Cause if you're on this list, you get what? No presents. So we do not want to be on that list. But we're on this list now because you had a better day today. Sometimes you just have to take some time to yourself to relax so you can fix your attitude. And because you had a good attitude and you did so good with the photos, you get a... Good job. <laughs> 